Hey guys. So, um, I've been meaning to do this for the longest time, but it's just, ugh. I just, I don't know. Anyway, um, these are the programs you'll need to do the intros. Um, it's, um, Adobe Flash. If you don't have it, then I have no idea how to help you. Um, but I use Adobe Flash, and I use Corel Video Studio, because, I don't know, I've always used it. It's my video editing software that I use. This is from Canada. It's, yeah, it's from Canada. And, um... Uh, I use this website called FightersGeneration.com And it's, you know, it's a fighting game website But at the same time, it has a link on the side where it says characters uh, If you cl click on that, there's like hundreds of fighting game characters And you, you can probably find, you know, anybody They even have like Pokemon on there or something, I don't know But, um, we used to want uh, Jin from BlazBlue So I'm gonna go ahead and find him And there he is um, so I opened two pages of animated GIF images, and, um, I usually get the GIF images from this website because they're already, you know, taken down, taken up, but, uh, whenever I, they don't offer the, um, the GIF images, I either, you know, I just search them, I just search for them online, or, uh, if I can't, I'll just make them, um, myself, but, I mean, I make them really ghetto, uh, I just use the print screen on my computer while I run the games on an emulator. Um, it's not that bad, but that's that's what I do. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and save these. Um, and I save them as animations, give animation generated image. Uh, what's it called? Generated image files. Yeah. So here we go. This is um, this is actually a pretty. Um, a pretty good sprite compared to all the other ones that I find. It's pretty big. It's pretty, um, high def, high def, I guess. High definition. Highly defined. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna resize this to, um, 720p, basically. It's 1280 by 720p. And that's high definition. And I'm gonna go ahead and, um, do, um, Misu's, uh, intro, uh, for this tutorial. Um, I mean, I, I'm I'm not that good at Flash. I have no idea what I'm doing sometimes, but I I don't know. I do it the only way I know how. I just um I go frame by frame basically. Um, even if the frames are you know um like this, it's uh it's 30 total frames, but it's uh 15. Wait, no, 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 no. It's it's 10. Yeah, it's 10 animations through uh, 30 frames. So it's three frames each animation. So after I set, you know, how he's gonna run into the intro because that's how I'm gonna make him see. He runs in. Uh, I'm gonna split every one of those um, 10 frames into um, 30 frames total. Anyway, um, as you can see, I divided it into so many frames that I already opened all the other. All the other uh, GIF images into Flash, and I've been animating so far um, how he's gonna go in. I also got some new fonts and everything uh, for it, um, and I basically want him to run in, and as he's running in, the words come out behind him, and then he's gonna run and like flip around and swing a sword and um, impale it to the ground, and when it, when he impales it to the ground, he's gonna. I don't know, shoot some stuff up from the ground, you know, and just make it intense. Uh, but when he does that, the text is going to change colors to icy, because I think that's like what he's all about in the game. Anyway, um, uh, I don't know how to do this, you know, better. I, I usually have to go frame by frame to position the character where, you know, where he's going to go. I don't really know how to do it any in any other easier way <clears throat> anyway so here I start you know making the animation for the for the sword hitting the ground <clears throat> it's pretty cool <laughs> and then it starts to fade out and I keep making frames. Every time it stops, I make a new frame. 
fear, fear, fear. And this is going like 10 times the speed, I think. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so the animation is done. And now I'm going to start with the text. I'm going to start, start making it change color. Um, I don't know. I usually do this because it, it, any, any, th any other thing I try, it just looks ghetto. So I just do like color changing and um, anything else. I just use it through a filter on the editing software. Yeah, but this took over, took me like two and a half hours to do it all. Alright, looks like it's pretty much done. I'm just doing the very last part. And after this, uh, Flash allows you to export the, you know, the animations that you make as AVIs. Um, that's basically what I did, yeah. It lets you export them as AVIs, and um, so I usually save them as AVIs, and um, yeah, see, export, export movie, and then um, save it as an AVI file. Uh, <clears throat> what's it called? Um, crap, crap, crap. Oh yeah, so while you're saving this, um, or while I'm saving this, I, I, um, the people ask me, like, how do you get the voices and all that stuff? Well, um, uh, all that info, uh, for the, uh, you know, um, or for the fighting game voices for any game, pretty much, you can find that on YouTube easy, and they usually have a download link. Um, so, like, this is the first time I actually tried it. So you'll see. I, um... Uh, while the movie was, you know, being made, I went ahead and went on YouTube and I looked up, uh, Jin's, uh, voice collection on, uh, yeah, like on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Place Blue, voice collection, and then I looked up, uh, Jin. That wasn't it, so, yeah, I found it. And there's a download link right there. You go up, and you download the voices. And it's basically this whole voice file. It was, it was like nine minutes. I was like, damn, how much how much stuff does this guy have in the game? So uh, I've never really played Blaze well. Alright, so now that they're all rendered, I open them on the video editing software and I put them together in sequence. So that's basically what it is right there. So I added a little darkening at the beginning and at the end so it, you know, it doesn't instantly start up. <clears throat> Now I'm doing the effects for the impale on the ground. Right. Oh. Alright. And then um I went ahead and made it last a little longer so that the detail stays in. Um Alright, so right here, um I spent a, a good like three or four minutes listening to the voice files. Um to the, you know, the voice collection file, uh, to see, you know, like, all the, you know, all the voices I can add to it. So I went ahead and found some voices, so he can go like, ah, when he comes in running and, I don't know, whatever, whatever sounds cool. <clears throat> um, anyway, at some point, I needed to have a, a sound effect for the, uh, whenever he hits the ground with the, whenever he impales the sword into the, ground so um oh okay never mind yeah okay yeah i was just listening to that i i i, I um i left it playing while i did whatever because you sometimes you just you can't look at video at, at audio so i just let let it play like music anyway um i needed a, like a thud or something some big sound so i have a the uh, the the Magneto intro. I don't know if you ever saw that one. I made an intro for Magneto, Magneto and um, I found this really cool sound, but I never. Um, I forgot how to. Oh my god, I'm so boring. <clears throat> anyway, I found a sound bite from that other video and I added it to the sword impaling on the floor. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, 
there's no real trick to it, you just have to spend time doing it, but I mean, all you do is use flash and I'm not really sure what else to add other than, you know, the specific stuff, but I'd have to make a whole flash tutorial for that. But it'd be easier to just find one on YouTube, so I'll just find one for you that will work and then I'll post it on the description. Yep. Huh? Impale! Out of my way!